A pleasure to me all at last. And here we are with some more Nerf Secret Reveal Distance Gauge Part 2. And for today's test, I'm especially proud to present one of the only examples of a missile blaster. As in, a blaster that can, in fact, fire demolisher missiles, as they were originally called. But I just call them missiles because the name demolisher specifically applies to a blaster that both introduced these kinds of missiles and also introduced the name demolisher into a household environment. And so, what I have to say about the Thunder Blast is pretty much exactly what you think it is. A missile launcher, nothing else. So, not necessarily a bad concept to make a standalone missile blaster. And this wouldn't be the first example to do this such thing, but of course, with the Demolisher starting it all, then with other blasters like the Thunder Blast, the Crash Course, which of course is the stock attachment for the Modulus Novatron. And then of course you have yourself Fortnite. Like why? Why Fortnite? Of all things that make a standalone missile blaster, Anyways, though, I don't really want to go and argue around with all that good stuff. I also tested out the Pulverizer, which is a modulus reskin of the Demolisher, so nothing too different about that. Still got some amazing results out of that if you want to go see that episode from part one of Distance Gauge. But nonetheless, let's get going with the testing. We have a 100 foot long down range up ahead. And in the same way that I've mentioned before with firing missile blasters, we're gonna do this two different ways because this can only hold one missile at a time. We're gonna start off flat and then work our way up to an angle, pretty much, just to get some good results there. One shot will apply for each of these, and so we're gonna start with the flat. And that is pretty much that. Start off at zero feet. It appeared to go pretty darn far, though, for something like this. Not really surprised there. So here's the missile itself. Landed right smack dab, 48 feet. So you know what? That's a pretty decent start for a missile launcher like this. I can't really say that it's supposed to be better than the likes of what the pulverizer and the crash course were, but in any case, Let's pick up the missile and let's take it back over to square one where we can get ourselves an angled shot. So now here we have the missile itself. There's two placements here in the stock to pretty much store extras, but it's time to load this thing back up. And just like before, we're gonna point it over here and get ourselves an angled shot. Go around 45 degrees, might be the best chance of getting pretty far. Well, didn't appear to go that much farther, but I can't really say that that was a bad shot right there. Albeit there's pretty much no wind at all. Well, 58 to 59 feet. Certainly not that much of an improvement. But of course, the pulverizer did have itself quite a bit of power when it came to firing the blaster itself. 59 feet being a little improvement over a straight shot. I can't necessarily be sure if that's supposed to do that much more compared to the pulverizer, but I still feel like the pulverizer with an 86 foot long shot from an angle certainly is way better and definitely a surprise if you will. Still this at least is a bit of an improvement over a straight shot, 59 feet, not too bad. So here we are loading up the blaster again, but not firing another shot obviously. We're here to close off on this episode for today. What I have to say personally about this is well. A standalone missile blaster is fine and all that good stuff, 
but the idea only goes so far. A lot of ideas about creating certain blasters and trying to gain extra mileage by making teeny little changes to certain things, that is the kind of ideology that only goes so far. And in this case, I'm not really seeing that big of a difference as opposed to what the Demolisher brought over. And then the Pulverizer managed to do even better on that part. 91 feet it managed to fire Elite Darts at. And then with the missile, it managed to gain almost the exact amount. That's a very, very, very big, big, big deal right there to me. So, in any case though, the Pulverizer is a great blaster. And this one, also pretty decent but only able to fire missiles, and missiles are a bit hard to come by unless you were to go start searching for knockoffs from AliExpress, for example. Not really suggesting that you do so, because knockoffs only have so much quality built into them. Anyways, though, if you want to see more, go down on my channel to make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.